Hello and welcome to a, a video on how to become godlike on Third Air 2. Well, this is all in my personal opinion, this is just what my setup and what I go with. I just wanted to share it with anybody who, wa who watches this video, just so you could um, you could experience the what I think to be the best in the game. Now to do this you need the DLC, which is the AK Car DLC. And and that comes out with the butchers, the butchers mods and all that as well. And if you're buying the game, the Crime Wave Edition now it comes with all the DLC as well. So this is like for all, all the newbies. Now you have to do some collecting, you have to do some card turning to get to get this set up the way that you want it. And obviously you have to get up to a hundred as well to get your hundred and twenty skill points. So without me um, waffling too much, let's get started. Right, so first thing you want to do is you want to select the AMR 16 rifle, which is already at a base, it's a very very good starter, as you can see there, it's, you know, if you're new to the game you will learn, you will learn these things, you will learn what's, what guns are, what guns are good and what guns are, and are not so good, and they're all pretty good, but personally I think that these, this setup that I do is, it makes you godlike, you can literally wreck anything in the game in seconds. So, like I said, you need to go through and start collecting the attachments and all that lot, which it, it does take a while. You've got you've to play it for a while to do that. Or you can watch another video that I've done, which is, um, it's like a card turning exploit, which is a pretty good video. It gets you, it can get you the weapon mods that you want a lot quicker than doing it normally. So if you want to go and check that out, um, that video out, then you can check that out and that'll help you as well. So first of all, let's start. Right, so we're on the AMR, and you need to collect the DMR kit. Obviously, this comes with the AK and slash car mod pack item, so it's it is a DLC. And if you've got that, then you're good to go. So we're on DMR kit. That's your first attachment that you put on. Second attachment you want to put on is the bigger the better suppressor. Already, it's starting to look pretty awesome. This gun is this gun is awesome. Uh, the next one you want to put on is the auto fire. You could put the single fire on if you want, but the auto fire is better. It gives you the eight stability. You lose four accuracy and you gain one damage. Already, if you if you put on the single fire, you're losing eight stability and you're already coming down. So your, your main objective with your weapons is to get the stability, accuracy, and damage as high as you possibly can get them, and everything else after that then is is a bonus. So the auto fire for me is definitely the best. Uh, next, next uh, item you want to put on is you could either put the tactical handguard on, or you could put on the long ergo foregrip. And if you, whichever one you get first, obviously you can put on. But you know, well, it's up to you. You can put any of them two on. But personally, I just think that the the long ergo foregrip looks looks better. Makes the gun look a lot nicer. So my personal personal favourite is the longer go for grip. And you lose three concealment on it, but your concealment is not an issue. What you're going for in this with this setup is a power setup. So like, you know, if you want to make a stealth class or anything, that'll be for a different. Uh, that's a different thing altogether. But what I'm making here is is for a power setup, a death wish. So you can get through the ones that are not that you can't do stealth a lot easier. So obviously concealment is not an issue. So I go with the look, and that is the longer I go for grip, which I think just looks nicer, in my personal opinion. Uh, the next attachment you want to put on it is the LED combo, which is plus eight stability. Again, concealment not an issue, and it is the best. Um, it is the best tach tactical, uh, well, the laser, laser module. It's the best one for it. So LED combo, which again is another mod pack item. You know, from from the DLC. Next, we want to put on is a grip. Now, you can put the rubber grip on, or you can put the pro grip on. The other two are not are not that good. You know, you've got the the straight grip, and you've got the ergo grip, which is ugly as shit. And you only get four stability from that as well, so it's definitely not. Uh, the rubber grip looks pretty nice. You get four and four, and you get four and four from the pro grip as well. But you lose one concealment, but that's not an issue, like I've said over and over again. So. Personal opinion, I think the pro grip looks best on the gun, so that's the one I go with. 
Your next attachment that you want to put on is the thrust lower receiver and it gives you an extra two damage. That's all it gives you, but when you get it, you want it on. The magazine, you can put on the expert mag, which gives you four, an extra four in your clip, but it gives you four stability. Personally, this is the one I go for, not the expert mag. I go for the L5, which is the same thingy, but to me, it just it looks it looks a little bit better. Each, each to their own. If you prefer the... Oh, that does look pretty cool, though, I've got to say. If you prefer the expert mag, you go for the expert mag. It depends on, really, what it depends on is which one you get first. If you, do you know what I mean? If you get that one first, whack that on, because it does exactly the same thing, and it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? But I just prefer the, the new one, the L5 magazine. So that's the one I go for. The car quad stack, mm, definitely not. Yeah, you get 30 rounds in your thing, in your, um, in your clip. But you burn through your ammo a lot quicker when you've got 60 rounds in your clip. It just doesn't, you, you don't have like a nice balance with it. So, and you lose four accuracy as well. So personally, I would go with either the L5 magazine or the mil spec. Uh, not the mil spec, the expert, sorry. The mil spec's pretty good, but you don't get the four, four stability from it. You get an extra extra four rounds in it. So that's that's not bad. And it looks, that does look pretty cool as well. But like I said, like I said, this one, the L5, is definitely the one what, what I would go for. The next the next one is where well you can eat, obviously you can pick whichever one you want on this. They all more or less do the same thing. They do they all do the same thing for your stability. And they're all just like a little bit different on the concealment, which doesn't matter because that's not what we're doing, are we? So I would personally go for the see more side. It just lets you see more of the screen and it's to me I think it just it looks better. You know what I mean? It's, it's my favourite site. It's the only site that I'd ever use in the game. Stock. Well, that's a new one there. And it doesn't... It's not very... Uh, it doesn't look very good. The stats for it are pretty good, though. Four and four, but it's still, to me, the war-torn the war -torn stock looks the best, and it gives you that eight accuracy. And you lose four, four stability, but it gives you that eight accuracy, and you, you get more stability back, as we'll go along in the video. So... That is the one that I would I would pick, hands down. Uh, the lower, the upper receiver. As you can see, you look at the stats and it's a no-brainer, really. The LW upper receiver is definitely, without a doubt, the one you want to be going for. It brings up your your accuracy and stability, which is what you want. And that's that's that gun finish. That's that's everything. All the attachments that I think are the best uh, are best to put on it to make this gun as as good as it could possibly be. And it's, it's nowhere near as good as it could possibly be just yet but for just mods that is um, as, as high as it could possibly be so I'll just quickly I'll quickly go over the uh, thing is again what's on it there and so as you can see straight away I'll put it on there it's already you have you've more than doubled your damage see just from mods and um, all the other stuff you lose 18 total ammo but it does, really doesn't matter because it's so powerful and it destroys enemies so quickly it doesn't it, that doesn't thing really make a massive difference so that's the only one thing you lose on it is a little bit of ammo but it's honestly it's not a massive it's not a massive um, kick kick to the ass it's it is definitely well worth it losing them 18 rounds for the gun that you're going to end up with in the end of the end of it and you won't regret it for what it can do to the what it can how much it can change your game. So you can see it's a nice two accuracy from fifty six and it's up to sixty stability from thirty two. Which is already it's a it's a really, really, really good thing. I mean you could go in the game with just that as it is now and have a very good game with it. So let's set up a secondary. The secondary is a submachine gun. This is my personal favourite, is the the Krinkov submachine gun. And the reason it is it is the best submachine gun is because of what the mods that have come in with the AK car up there. It's, it just makes it so such a good gun. But the, also the Swedish care Swedish care submachine gun is very good as well. But it doesn't get the mods that comes with the, with the Krinkov. And it, it is very that's a very good gun as well. But this one is the one that you want to be going with. Like I say, you've got to go through and recollect the attachments for it. But I've got them all obviously because I've been. I've been playing it for a while now, so I know which which um, I know what I'm thinking. I know, you know, I've got them all sort of thing. So the bigger the better suppressor again. You want that on it. You want that bad boy on there. And then the auto fire again. 
obviously, if it's your if it's your prerogative to put on the single fire, then that's what you do. But personally, just my personal opinion, auto fire is the way to go. Scope mount. You need the scope mount, but you can't put the you can't put the scope mount on just yet because you've got to um, got to put on the sight before you can put on the the scope mount. And again, the Seymour sight is my favourite, so that's the one that I'm going to put on. But you can put on whichever one you want to put on, like I said before. And then you can put the scope mount on them, which gives you another full stability, which you get. So you get eight stability from the scope mount and the sight. You get four apiece, so that gives you eight, which is pretty cool so we'll go back to the score mount and then we'll keep on going so the foregrip you want to go for the Moscow rail special the, the Moscow special rail it's better than the aluminium foregrip but I haven't got that but um, you know what I mean this personally well it doesn't need to think it says it all there it's eight eight to four so you want it you want the, the Moscow and also it looks cooler as well so it's better just better and you, you want the LED combo which is the best one of the, the lot and that's in the new update as well military laser modules you get it from collecting gauge items to get the fuller stability but obviously you want the 8 so the LED combo is the way to go without a doubt the grip you want to put you want to put on the AK plastic grip now that comes in the in the gauge items as well it's the red spider you've got to collect 10 red spider items to get that so and it is it is the best one because it gets the eight you get the eight accuracy off it you lose eight stability but as you can see the balance has come up pretty nice with 72 to 72 so far so stick that on and yeah it's the best it looks good as well it looks a lot nicer magazine obviously quad stacks garb you don't want that you want the low drag magazine which is a another ak car mod and you know what i mean it is definitely the best one to go you get four and four you get 30 in the thingy for that but we've already said that so we won't go over that again the side obviously we've done that with the the scope mount so we can go past that and then same again you want the war-torn stock which puts your accuracy up to 80 and then your stability is down to 72 and that's both the guns finished so far for what oh let's we'll just uh, put that one on there so far for what um what i believe to be the best guns so if you look at the stats on them now, the stats haven't changed massively. Well, they have. They've changed really well on the Grim Cod. And they've changed massively on the uh, the AMR. Right, let's go to Pert Deck. I won't do the skill gel. I'll save that till last. So let's go and do the Pert Deck. The Pert Deck I personally prefer is the ex-president. Because it gives you a massive amount of health as, as your thing. Um, the more kills, you, when you get up, stack them up to four kills, and it gives you 20% health when you're at the top is this one here look is it increase the amount of health stored from kills by four and then it's you gain 20 percent more health so when you kill four without losing your shield you get 20 percent more health so when you do lose your shield and you take some damage and when your shield regenerates it gives you 20 percent more health on your bar and it's like literally you will never lose health it, it is that good another good one as well is uh, rogue because of the dodge on it but it's it's not as good as a uh, ex president. The one thing you, it, which is really good about it, is the last one on Rogue, which is the all your all your weapons have a twenty five percent chance of pierce enemy armor and increase the weapon swapping speed by eighty percent. That's really really good. In fact, that's absolutely brilliant. That that was my favorite my favorite deck that before um, ex president. But ex president, you just literally you just never go down. You never take you never take damage. There are a couple where you will struggle, like the bomb forest. Obviously, you'll go down on that a lot, but everybody goes down on that because it's a very, very difficult, difficult level. But most levels, overkill, death wish, you you won't go down. Definitely not with this setup. You will be, you'll be safe. So that's that. Um, next, my obviously you can use the frags, but my personal favourite is the dynamite, and that comes with the Western mod pack. Which is I think the 3.99 in the uh, in the store, but that's my favourite. It, you can throw it far and it, it explodes quicker as well, which is which is for me I prefer that. Like against bulldozers, you can just storm for a second and then wreck them in half a second with your AMR. 
or your crink off, your crink off can destroy them, thingy as well. What I'll do is I'll do a little bit of gameplay as well, I'll go and play at the end of it and just to show you the setup, just to see what, um, you know, so you can see it in action, it, you know, you, whether you want to, you want to try this. Uh, my personal favourite melee weapon is this Witchblade. Two second charge time, but it's also got the, when you spam it, it's got a rapid stab rate, so you can like literally knife them and get them about six or seven times dead quick and they die, they die very fast with it, so it's my personal favourite. on like XA and dummy skills but we'll do that now. So already you can see there the X president gives you a nice two more health and that's without using your, your stacking your 20% um, recovery on top of it. So that's what you get out of that which is really good. It's absolutely brilliant that. And then obviously the other little bits of um, skills what you got on there has come from your X president as well. Alright so let's go and do uh let's go and do our skill set now let's show you how we make these guns unbelievably good right so what you want to be aiming for is you want to be aiming for kilmer the first one at kilmer which is increase your reload speed with assault rifles and sniper rifles by 25 percent you want that you really really do want that because it for the amr it just it makes it so much better get you out of them situations a lot easier having that 25 percent more speed on your reload and it's a very quick reload anyway so it it does make a massive difference you can literally can can see the difference going on it all right so endurance increase your stamina by 100 percent increase your stamina for you and your crew by 50 percent so you're giving your teammates a little bit of extra as well there and then you want leadership which is you and your crew's weapon stability with pistols is increased by four but obviously you don't want that because you're not using pistols but you need to ace it to get your you and your crew stability with all weapons is increased by eight so you want to ace that to get that stability it bumps up your stability what you lost you know what a little bit that you've lost from the uh, mods in, well lost in gain kind of thing next one i would go for would be the two healths because all you're trying to do now is get up to kill man so for reviving people you give obviously you, your uh, crewmen you, you could well you can read them you, you know what they are so i won't read every single one and then next one I go for is Spotter. And I wouldn't ace it though, I'd just go for the first one. I'm trying to get up to the next uh, the next tier. And Dominator, which is the first one, which is pretty good because you can you, know, you can slap a couple of couple of coppers, the weaker ones, and then you can turn them into an hostage to get your get your mates out of um, out of custody, which is you know it's good to have that one. And I'd get civilians remain intimidated fifty percent longer, only because it's you know you, you have to get it to get up to the, what you want then you want to ace doctor bags because that's what you'll be taking in doctor bags because you're going this far up on to get kilmer on masterminds you need to get the doctor bags you can't get the ammo which is the only downside to it but somebody else will take ammo out there all right so you want the first one of kilmer and that's that's this one done you don't need to do any more on that for what for this setup of what we're going for right let's go on to enforcer right so you don't really you're not going high on enforcer you just want flashbangs you want stun resistance because it's it is really really annoying when you get thing you flashbanged in this game and it, it lasts for about it lasts for about a good six seconds and half the time you come out of your flash and you're on your ass and it, it does happen a lot so you really really do want that now these two here you don't want because your weapons are 25 percent more effective at threatening enemies and a third of a third of 25 when you ace it you don't want that because you're using silenced weapons you don't get any um you don't get any threat to start off with so it doesn't increase your um it doesn't increase your threat on, on the gun in fact i'll just show you that quick now i'll select it so if you go on your gun it'll say zero on your skill because you've got because you're starting off with zero threat you're not getting any skill from it so it's just a waste don't even bother getting it so we'll go back into our skills go back onto enforcer and we'll respect that what i'd go for is obviously is that one because you're not going to get an ammo you don't want to put it down for a bullet storm so you just go for that it helps with the bags as well ace it to move on to the next tier then you want underdog surrounded by three or more enemies you damage boost and then uh, less damage from enemies as well when you ace it so that's a that's a good one to have you want die hard 
primary weapon in bleed out but the main one you want is your armor recovery rate is increased by 15% you want that one that is a definite you want it and then obviously like I said flashbangs and then tough guy it just reduces your camera shake it just when you're getting shot you don't shake as much and you can you just steady and you can you can um, fight back as you're getting shot without it flapping all over the place and it does make a difference you can tell that it works and that's that's all that you need in this you don't need it anymore anymore in this uh, in this skill set right in technician you don't need much in technician all you want to get in technician is you want to get rifleman because this is obviously this is working for your AMR it snaps a zoom 100% faster with assault rifles so you're not using sniper rifles um, your weapon zoom levels increased by 25% now that one's a good one very good one to have because it's not it, 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 your weapon zooms in 25% further but it just means you can shoot the enemies 25% further away as well which is it makes a massive difference and this gun this AMR and the Krinkov then well the AMR can shoot them from such a such a long long way away and, and kill them in seconds uh, next one you want is sharpshooter your weapon accuracy is increased with single shot weapons by four but you don't you, you can't do that because you're not using single shot weapons it's the next one down that you want your weapon stability is increased with all rifles by eight so that you want that one and you could go for this one as well you take 50% uh, less damage while interacting with things which is a pretty good one and you can use a steel sight and bleed out as well that's a pretty good one to have that I mean it, it really is but if you're not one for interacting with things you know if you've if you just like to run around killing and let other people do the interacting then you can you know you can leave that i i have two class two classes i have one with this on and i have one with another thing on which i will um show you in a second i oh, didn't didn't ask that one let's just ask that one dead quick before we move on um uh, in ghost you want to get the sprinter you want to get cat burglar you want to get the first one cleaner you don't need additional body bags but you want the five percent more damage against the um, special enemies and you want chameleon which is 15 percent less likely to be targeted and then this one smg specialist increased reload speed by 35 percent increases the rate of fire by 20 percent you want that one that is a definite you really do want that one and if you want you can get shinobi which is um increase increases your warp speed by 25% but it increases your crouch speed by 10% which works very well with what I'm going to get here which is the dodge one duck and cover so that's that's the two choices you can you can go between you can go between the duck and cover or the uh, nerves of steel depending on which type of which type of game you want to play I have like I said I have two classes one with that on it and my main one which is with that on it so Obviously you don't need concealment and you don't need the enemies making 95% less noise because you, that, you know, that's useless to you. You don't need the increase your climbing speed. Now you get an extra 10 steadiness off this. This, If you get this one here, the extra 10 steadiness, this works brilliantly with reduces your camera shape by 50% damage by it when you're getting damaged by enemy fire. Now that works hand in hand with uh, with thick skin if you go and have a look at your finger on your on your steadiness it gives you plus 21 on your skill which is that's what oh, am I going that's what that does for uh, for you for your suit which is uh, like 50% uh, tough guy just the first one on tough guy and then the first one on thick skin and you need to spend another three points to get to that so you might as well just buy the armor fully outright because otherwise you'll be spending two on them and then you'll have another three points to spend so just get that even though you're not using the second one and like I said dodge will be mine the one I get and then you want 10% uh, movement speed and your movement speed is unhindered while using steel sight and that's it that's uh, that's all you need on that one now your main one the main ones these are the ones that will completely and also they change the game for you and this is ghost and you need to get these two these two are the ones that will completely and also they change the game for you so just unlock it whichever one you prefer and get them two and that's all your points spent 
that works out perfectly. Also, martial art works really well as well with, uh, it says that you are 50% more likely to knock down an enemy with a melee strike. And that, that works really well with, um, with Dominator, the first one on Dominator, you know, to try and get your, your friends out of, out of uh, custody. Uh, you can intimidate a non-special enemy into a hostage. Less, less well-trained enemies are easier to intimidate. So if you've got the first one of that, then you have this one here, which is uh, you are 50% more likely to knock down an enemy with melee strike. Then you can crack them with your, with your knife, you know, if you, whatever melee weapon you prefer. Or like I said, mine's the switchblade. You can stab them with it, and then you, you get a 50% chance of knocking them on their ass. So when they go on their ass, you can then start shouting at them and they get dominated easier and it, it does they do work hand in hand very well very well together that one and that one and plus you have to spend that one more point to get to get these two so personally that's the one you, know, you can pack loot bags faster you don't really need it and 10 percent value to items you don't really need it let's go and have a look at the thingy now at the setup now so now as you can see what it's done to the um what it's done to the stats there. His stamina has gone up another 30.8 from 20.5, which is 51.3 stamina, which means you can just run for ages on it. And your steadiness, like I said before, has gone up to 32, which is really, really good. As you think, obviously it's going to be doctor bags because you've you've uh, aced, aced the doctor bags to get up to Kilmer. So doctor bags are what you'll be taking because you get two for it. Uh, here we go. So damage now on your Krinkov is 108 because of the skill from the silenced weapons in fact I'll just go on them and I'll just show them off big quick what they do you deal 15% more damage with silenced weapons then you deal 15% more damage and have a 20% chance of piercing enemy armor with silenced weapons so you're getting 30% more damage from that one and you're getting 20% chance of piercing the enemy armor uh, next one up the professional as your weapon stability with silenced weapons has increased by 8 and your snap to zoom is 100% faster which means you can pop in and out of aim but for the, with the auto aim and it, it, it just wrecks them in seconds and your weapon accuracy with silenced weapons has increased by 8 and you gain another 20% 20 chance of piercing enemy armour with silenced weapons so it gives you a 40% chance of piercing enemy armour but also the extra 30% damage which is it's a no brainer it is definitely the way to go so your rate of fire now is up on your SMG to 900 and 986 from 822 and you've got your damage at 108 from 80, 88 accuracy and 88 stability which is a very very good balance for what you've got. Uh, we want ready for this one, look at this AMR now, boom, that is the dog's dick right there, there is no better gun on the game that what can do what you can do with this gun. 218.7 damage from 80 is the base, 100 accuracy and 84 stability. Well, that is very, very, very powerful gun. It really, really is, and it really will destroy everything in seconds. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put a little bit of gameplay, and I'll go straight into a game on it, and um, I'll just do a quick one just to show you, just to show you what the weapons can do. Oh, let's go into a game. But also, I wanted to just quickly mention the. Um, I've got a, another video online about um, a card exploit turning the turning the pay days for the um, from the offshore, and it's. Uh, I've done another video, a separate video on that. So if you want to go and watch it, it's just so you can. You literally can get all your mods very quickly, you know, over playing the playing um, playing heists over and over again. You can just follow that video, and it gives you a. Um, I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a heads up on how to unlock these mods for uh, for your weapons uh, a lot quicker and get what you want really. You know you can get get exactly what you want out of it. All these. Also, I found as well if you buy the gun and then yeah, if you just only have this one gun, your AMR and then obviously your Krinkov. Krinkov and the AMR in your inventory and then you, you follow the video that I've done and go and turn cards you will get more mods for these guns and it, it does work I got most of these mods in about three hours by doing um, 
following my other video. So anyway, let's um, let's go into a thing, yeah. Let's go into a game, and I'll show you. Show you exactly how good these um, these guns are. Right, what should we do? Let's not go into a game where people are stealthing, which seems to be a lot of people stealthing here today, don't they? When I go into a game where you can just wreck them. Breakouts, didn't they? They don't do them anymore. Oh, there you go. In game. Go on, let's, let's see if we can join this one. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, if you follow this, you won't be disappointed. Oh, that's a nice brew. Look at all these pros. Some nice high levels in there. And there's me and my not infamous. <laughs> Screw all these lads. Oh, so this is the crank off. Already you can see it is serious. It's a serious weapon and it does kill enemies very quickly and it is on overkill and if you have the thingy as well if you have the um, rogue it gives you another 25 percent chance to pierce enemy armor so that's all together that'll be 65 on piercing the enemy armor so it's just like these, these guys here they, they've got to be quite armored aren't they so these bullets they, they just they crack right through the armor the rogue on but i prefer the ex-president because you can see the little health bar the center of the um, of your main health. All the kills that you get stack up. So once you've filled that bar up and then you lose all you should lose the clock This is the AMR now. AMR is awesome. Good for ammo as well. I can say you lose the 18, 18 rounds on your ammo but because it's so powerful, it makes more than makes up for it. See, I mean, that guy just got right there. The sniper there. Sniper there quick. Got to get the bulldozer soon. Show you what it does against the bulldozer. You don't need to shoot them that much, maybe. You can only, only to snap the snap in and out of zone. See what I mean? There's a big snap up there. These will be the main, the main things that put you down, without a doubt. But it's a pain in the ass there. So I hope you like the, uh, like the video and, you know, give the, um, Give the thing you give this setup a chance because it is it is very very good. I mean the ammo is very good as well because when you you keep running over the ammo, you, you don't run a, run out of ammo that that quickly because you don't need to shoot them that much neither. Though you only need to, a little burst and they're so powerful. And with all mixed in with all your other little kills, it, it does a um, record. Oh, I love that shoot that with there. Right, you little freak. I'll have a nice little tip for you, you as well. If you're popping it out on your zoom, uh, popping it out, popping it out uh, as you shoot. Zoom, shoot, zoom, shoot, zoom, shoot. They're quick like that, and it locks on their aim. The aim stays onto the target, and you can literally destroy lords in seconds. Hopefully, 
come down. President put in work as well. Look at that when you get Fager, you get. Oh, my gosh, you know. oh yeah, die. I think there's a flashbang as well, I just got flashbang then, mate, but it didn't even do anything with that skill, it's brilliant. Bulldogs are still alive. Gozer's here! Oh, I'm dead. I'm the next president bar's full now, so next time I take some damage, it'll just instant, instantly throw me back up again. And just keep swapping between your weapons as well, so you don't, uh. Every time you're picking up your ammo, you, you're not going out. Kicked out? Not kicked out for thing, you're kicked out for, uh, for mashing them all. Making them look bloody crap, Slow that's why. Well, that'll definitely be going in the video. Right Friggin' punks, man. There's too much of that going on in this game. Too much of that going on. Oh, I tell you. That is irritating when they do that. Too many, too many people doing that in this game. I'll be able to look at the name of that as well, and you'll all be able to see that. You know, if anybody watches it or whatever, you know. But yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed enjoyed it. Um, you know, I've only just started this YouTubing thing. I've not been doing it long, so obviously my confidence might grow over time. But you, you just feel like a bit of a bit of a plonker, don't you? Sat here talking to yourself on thing on YouTube, knowing that people are going to watch it. But it's something that you'll, you know, you, I suppose you get better at as you go along. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like, like the video if you could. You know, it's, uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, dislike it, it's entirely up to you. I'm not, uh, not telling you what to do, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.